Hello everyone. Welcome to Inner Peace Night Time. I hope you enjoy your time with me tonight before going to bed on our meditation. Have you seen something change? Yes, I found some new background that I like to make a change. Since at this time it's still not sunset yet in uh, where I live, so maybe it's a good time to use this as a time showing that you know it's still uh, night. Uh, it's still uh, sun uh, lights out. <laughs> anyway, so <clears throat> today I prepare some good tip that could be giving you some good uh, start for the meditation. It is said, cultivate a positive mood, being still will become easier. All right. So what is about? How can we get ourselves become still easier by using this positive mood? Well, let's get right on to it. But before we get to that part, let me see who is joining us at the moment. Hello, Mr. Martin. Thank you for joining. That's a nice photo. Is that somewhere around here? Or somewhere close to Manchester? Well, nice picture though. Miss Yumi, good to see you too. I heard that um, they're going to have one day retreat over there next month. <clears throat> Maybe you want to find out if you want to join us. Okay. Alright. Anyone else who just knew or just recently joined? If you don't mind, leave some comments so I know that where you're from. Alright. Thank you. So let's get on to our wisdom of the night. In a peace night time. Tip of the night on August uh, 19. And this is my Facebook that currently live. If you have not liked or follow yet, subscribe. Uh, just press like and follow. You can get notification and join us whenever there is live. For those of you who are not convenient to do live Facebook or just too lazy to do the social media, how about try YouTube channel at your own convenient time? But it might be some time delay like yesterday. <coughs> I have Inner Peace Sunday done broadcasting everything but i was forgot <laughs> to post it on youtube so i did it this morning instead hopefully you can still check that out and joining us later in the future all right don't forget to subscribe like and share on my youtube channel as well if you have time <clears throat> and here this is my current schedule all right let's see monday wednesday at this time as you may have already noticed since you are watching this Sunday at 8 p.m. But Saturday though, sometimes I join, sometimes I don't because of uh, Saturday is kind of like not convenient for me. But either way, it's available on DMEU Zoom ID, which is 814-853-30672 and the passcode is 72. All right, that's enough for our weekly online activity. Use it at your own convenient time, and I hope you enjoy every session that we provide for you. All right. Oh, we got some more new coming. <clears throat> April Martin. Oh, from UK, but holiday in Spain. Are you happen to be related to Mr. Martin? Martin? Well, if you are, well, congratulations. But if you don't, don't worry. I'm just, you know, getting, mixing up with the name. But I hope you enjoy your time with us. This is first time seeing you. So, welcome to Inner Peace Night Time, everyone. All right, let's go to our tip of the night. Chat simply but quite impact by our master. Mentioned on the topic here that cultivate a positive mood, being still will become easier. And by constantly cultivate a positive mood, think only things that bring you peace. A clear mind, a pure mind, a kind heart. All right. <coughs> This needs some clarification a bit. Oh, we got some. Oh, you not? Okay, sorry on that part. But I hope you forgive me on that part too. And here, I hope you enjoy your session with me with this tip I'm about to share that could be benefit for your inner peace practice. Anyway, so constantly, constantly cultivate a positive mood in here is mean that he meant in here that a positive mood or a mind that is positive is very uh, helpful for cultivate inner peace because when the mind is happy and filled with positivity it's kind of like feeling like spacious and when you try to focus nothing will make it uh, <clears throat> difficult because it's so spacious and enjoyable 
kind of like when you are floating, you don't have anything to pull you down, make it heavy. And as it is, you will easier to find yourself better focused. And thus, it will result you to have a clear mind. When the mind becomes clear, it's free from negativity. That's all negativity gone, it's become a pure mind. When the mind is pure, a kind and loving heart will be will become uh, it will become. And that's by positive cultivate good mood uh, by cultivating a positive mood, this will help you. So what to do the dog? Here's some some case of my ex, uh, example that I like to bring. I think this is when I was in uh, third year as a training monk, quite some time ago, though many many years past. I have one session with the uh, you know city student from America. I'm not sure where from now. It's quite vaguely remember, probably from Wisconsin or Michigan. I'm not sure, somewhere around there. What happened is that she said that every time she meditated with me and the group. What she would say is that she would. What she would do is she would try to spread love and kindness, send her positive feeling, kind of like uh, she like to love everyone, love everything without any harm or not harming or hating anyone. When she spread that kind of feeling all around, make her feel easier to let go and detach all negativity. So that's make her fi- her feeling light, and sometimes spacious. As a result. She smile and sometimes tear coming out at the beginning of her meditation, and as she continue further, it's easier for her to gain brightness and joy in her meditation, and she likes it and she meditated for a long time too. That is one thing that one can try. So the tip for tonight is, when you start yourself with positive mood, positive thought, positivity, it's easier to maintain and cultivate inner peace. All right. Hope the tip for tonight will be quite benefit for uh, some of you, and check yourself breathing. Since it's time for our meditation, number one, check and make sure if <clears throat> your mobile phone is in silent or at the very least, it won't disturb your inner peace. Number two, check and make sure if do you need to use toilet. You don't want to go to toilet when you finally find inner peace, right, everyone? And last but not least, check and make sure if the room or the place where you are meditating with me tonight and the uh, with the others is it peaceful? Is it peaceful, suitable for your meditation? If you are set on these three conditions, you are good to go. All right, now there's still time before we start. Why we let me check who's joining us. I'm not sure if they're still there, but let me greet anyway, Mr. Michael, Mongkon Danbak. And Miss Tear and Mr. Simon and Moon, thank you for joining us from Wilshire. All right, I think it's time for start our meditation, and we can spread love and kindness to Miss Janet, Mr. Simon's beloved mother, and anyone else who important to you too by spreading love and kindness after our med uh, when we find inner peace together tonight. All right, we all set now. Let us begin our meditation, everyone. <coughs> So, all right. Sorry. Okay. So let us begin our inner peace moment. <coughs> Start by finding yourself sitting in a relaxed position. Clear all your thoughts. And empty your mind. Tonight is a peaceful night with the clear sky, filling our mind with peace and joy, suitable for our meditation. Start by finding yourself. Close your eyes softly. And gently, feeling as if you are taking a rest or about to fall asleep. Relax your whole body properly, beginning from the top 
of your head down to forehead, eyebrows and eyelids. No need to use your eyes or try to look inside yourself during the meditation. Making your face relax and feeling soft and can continue down further to your neck and shoulder. Adjusting your back body properly, free from any tension should they arise. Then relax both of your arms, forearms, all the way to the tips of your fingers. Continue to relax further from your abdomen, allowing yourself breathing more easily as you continue. Relax both of your legs down to your knees and all the way to your feet completely. Making sure that yourself your body is properly adjusted. You would feel that yourself is content. No need to do anything else or worry about your body from now on. It would feel like yourself is transparent or floating, light, empty, spacious, and expand. These are the signs that you find a proper start on your journey toward inner peace. Then take a deep breath, slowly breathing out, allow the mind coming back and gently resting inside around your abdomen or any point inside your body where you feel familiar of feeling just right. Letting yourself enjoy your rest, both body and mind. No need to concern over the matter related to people anymore, the past or future something that you can control. Instead, take a break, enjoy your rest as you wait for yourself to finally find inner peace. 
you cannot rush your mind because our mind is enjoy its freedom when you forcing yourself the mind will struggle if you feel that yourself getting bored wanted to quit or giving up feeling like you want to do something else in this case adjust the mind by starting over by reopen your eyes when your thoughts are settled down slowly close your eye once again to restart yourself to what inner peace but if you are content enjoy at this moment continue to use your feeling observing the mind as you continue at the same time maintain your focus inside your body by lightly imagine a star a shining star shining inside where you rest the mind and let the star be like a guide for the mind should your thought arise you may recite your mantra at your own pace you may use your own mantra if you like or the following mantra to help you calm down and be with inner peace samma arahang samma arahang Samma Arahang Continue on until there are no more thoughts. Or the sound of mantra fade away and disappear. Let the mind, both body and mind, continue to be in balance. When you find yourself the balance between mindfulness and the relaxation, you would find joy and be content like to continue as long as you like so observe the sun to help you focus while you stay in balance or reciting mantra if you like or doing both apply this technique to help you calm down and free the mind while you staying on course toward inner peace let us continue together in silence for a little while until the appropriate time
stay and still as our mind gradually come toward inner peace, joy slowly arise, fill into the mind. Open up our mind toward love and kindness inside with positivity. Sharing this feeling, love and kindness, joy that you discover toward everyone that you love, starting from yourself to your family and friends, whether they are still alive or pass away, wishing them all peace and joy, may they all be happy. For those who are suffering, may they be happy. And for those who are already happy, may they be happier, more and more. No more pain, no more suffering. No more sadness, no more hatred. Let there be only love and kindness inside. Sharing love and kindness with them all. Let's spread our love and kindness for a few moments before the end of our meditation.
Take a deep breath. Continue on as our mind. Maintain this peaceful feeling and our mind inside ourselves as we continue. So tonight, we can stay with inner peace. Continue on after the meditation. Then slowly and gently open your eyes. Sapaputta nupavena, sapatama nupavena, sapasankha nupavena, satta soti, pawantu te. May you all be with inner peace. Welcome back, everyone. Hope you enjoy your inner peace session with me tonight. So before we part and go on our way, allow me to check how you progress if you'd like to share. For those who are new, you may leave the comment as follow. Leave the comment as one if you're feeling relaxed. For those who are feeling experienced, time fly by fast, body disappear or light, leave the comment as two. If you experience joy or brightness inside, leave the comment as 3. Anything else, explain as 4. Uh, let's see who are joining us further. Miss Tear. Miss Eileen. Oh, it's been a while, Miss Eileen. How are you there in Washington? Is it still rain here in UK? Well, uh, well we, we don't have rain today, so that's good. What about you? Okay. So let's see who are joining us at the moment who are sharing this experience. But one thing is that this experience, please remember, it is just an outcome or byproduct of your effort to practice correctly. If you get any of this, what I mean is one or two or three. Do not attach to it and do not expect it is going to be the same. What you must always remember is, is always new experience. Does understand this part? One must always try try to find the best path for one to repeat. If you ever get, for example, feeling like time fly by very fast, you must trace back today, record it, what did you do, or what causing it, and try experiment again on your next meditation practice. If it worked that way, that's a sign. This could be this technique that's for you. Repeat it again. If it worked, then you can be a little bit more sure now that this it work. Thus, repeat it every time. When it's getting better and better, this is how you improve your meditation progress. All right. Oh, we got a few more people uh, sharing. Mr. Simon, you have rain? <laughs> Unfortunately. Well, I have sunny day. Well, a little bit cloudy, well, but it's getting cold now. About uh, 18 degrees. So... Probably it's going to get chilly tonight and going to be back the same thing tomorrow as well. Anyway, so hope you are okay because don't want to get cold on that part right in summer. <laughs> All right. Miss Tear, for expansion and feeling of brain massage. Oh, that's good. So when you feel like that, your mind, your brain is getting rest and getting, uh, you know, kind of like relax. <laughs> Miss Eva Gonzalez, too. All right. This is our first time, I believe. If not, I, I, I apologize. But thank you for sharing with me. Miss Yumi, two and three tonight. Hey, it's better. And usually you got two, most of the time, two weeks. Now you get three. That's good. Time went so quickly, so peaceful. Well, thank you for sharing and thank you, Yumi. Try to repeat the same thing again next time, okay? Mr. Martin, one and two. Well, I guess vacation is do you some good things. You get easier now, huh? <laughs> That's good. We'll keep practicing. I hope that um, uh, Manchester branch and can be ready to accommodate meditations uh, for next month. Mm, all right. Mr. Max Milton, one. 
at least you get to relax. That's a good sign. Thanks for sharing. I believe our first time. Thank you for, uh, for, you know, for joining us. If you don't mind, leave some comment where you're from so we can get to know each other. All right. As it is, everyone, practicing meditation, it is something not too hard or not too difficult neither. It's just neutral, I would say. But either way, it requires two things in advance to practice correctly. I mean, that they are practicing correctly and consistently. Therefore, practice meditation will see you progress in no time. But the thing is, sometimes we lose motivation. Sometimes we get lazy. Anyone get that kind of feeling? I get that sometimes too. Well, when you are lazy, you can't blame them. But sometimes you might have to force yourself. Make it as a routine. It may be quite difficult at first, but remember, as you practice more, when you get used to it, get used to it, I mean, you feel like you cannot, you don't want to do, you get disturbed when you feel that you're missing something and you have to do this in order to, you know, get that feeling out. This is how you can, could, using meditation, practice until that part, that will, uh, this feeling come to you, then you will get yourself a better proper routine for your daily life and therefore everyone, I hope you are enjoy your time with me and come back again next Wednesday for our Inner Peace Night Time. Before we part today, there are some announcements I'd like to share. For those who come later, you can also check out more explanation on the tip that I share on this. This is the one that our, my master, uh, our master sharing to me and everyone else. Oh, we got more Mr. Max Milton from Surrey. Wait a minute. Did I see you at, on Tuesday or Thursday class? Oh, if you can. Oh, wait, no. We can see each other at my, tem at my temple. Mr. Martins. All right. September 3rd. Good luck. Well, I hope I can stop by sometime to, you know, sharing meditation with you. Miss Eva in Amsterdam. Oh, are you going to England anytime soon? Well, uh... If you are nearby, come drop in. We, uh, I can give you postcode. It's uh, GU21. Let me check. Uh, let me type down. GU212TG. Ah, this is our postcode in case if you want to come dropping in. All right. Here, um, our announcement for the end of tonight. First, if you are interested, our next activity in our, you know, temple is open day meditation yes sometimes we living around or sometimes we heard out about the temple what is the buddhist temple or monastery what they do well this is the day that you can come check it out it's open on september 8 1 2 4 30 p.m and such activity like thai snack children activity exploration piece in buddhism thing like that however please please you know come uh, from one. If you come earlier, we may not be ready yet. <laughs> so just come around this time. It could be give you a proper re reception. But anyway, you can all come because this is the day that anyone can experience what is the monastery or Buddhist monastery look like. Another activity for next month is three-day meditation retreat beginning from September 20 to 22nd. Of course, one can choose to spend the night as well. So it's a good time to spend some time practice meditation all the way. But anyway, for more information, you can contact our information. Check out on our Facebook page, Great Teaching Monk of the same name. So you can also get more information out there. All right. So these are the announcements I'd like to make for our tonight. And I hope you enjoy your time uh, with me next time too. So come again. All right. If you do. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share to your friend too. You don't want to keep that to yourself, right? Let's see. All right. Thank Miss Eva. We see each other. That's good. In September. And coming to New Year Retreat. All right. That's cool. Well, enjoy. I'm looking forward to see everyone. And it's getting late now. And I'm, you know, got to go to bed. You got to go to work too tomorrow, right? So see you again next time, everyone. Ending broadcast now. Enjoy your time and have a good night. <laughs>